All right, so we are on our journey from Tarpon Springs, Florida. You want to take over the controls real quick? I'm gonna I got do, a, do a basic, uh, uh, basic video. I got you. All right, you got it. Yep. So here's the sponge docks at Tarpon Springs. We got right here. That's where we just left. That's Captain Jack's, and we're headed to. St. Augustine, Florida, Marine Land. This is the start of day one. And this is gonna be a hell of a trip. So right now it's 7 a.m. Um, on a Sunday, there's a, what we're trying to do first day is beat the storm front that's coming on through. So I'm here with uh, my buddy Matt. Hey. You're gonna be a YouTube star soon. I'm gonna, this is gonna be my first video of many. So, uh, so yeah, it's a beautiful morning right now, as you can see. Sun just uh, just beginning to rise. Going past a bunch of boats. It's a great morning. One of the places I used to get my boat hauled out at was uh, was over here. You can see that big crane in the back. Um, the hauler up, that's Pittman Yacht Services. This boat was at Pittman Yacht Services for the last owner, everything I've done to it. Great place. So if anybody wanna visit Tarpon Springs, this is the sponge docks. We've had a lot of trips out here. Very, very nice. Rusty Bellies is on the corner. Over here. Yeah, you can't, yeah, okay, focus. Yeah, there's gonna be Rusty Bellies on the corner. You can't see it right now, but everybody's out here. Tour boats is Captain Mike's boat right there. Spongeramas. Fishing, a little fishing charter. And goodbye Pittman Yacht Services. This is, they do great work. So if you ever need your uh, boat fixed, get it here. And hopefully our boat won't look like that when we come back. Well, I'm signing off for now. And uh, we'll see you later. I got. I have a 12 inch iPad Pro, another iPad, Garmin, depth finder. Um, it's a good setup that I got. So in this clip, uh, we're basically have already left Anclote River. We've rounded the islands out in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, we're, we're just booking it straight towards uh, straight towards Fort Myers at this point. Now that that possibly could be Clearwater, or even um, you know, yeah, I do believe that might be Clearwater uh, to the left. We we don't we stay off the coast past Clearwater and uh, basically past St. Petersburg um, and we uh, we had to dodge a lot of crab traps out here. Um, I did fast forward a little bit but you can see the flag it's 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 moving pretty pretty wicked because it's about 20, 20 to 25 knot winds out there in the seas you can't really tell right here but they're about two to four feet it was it was pretty um, you know pretty wicked out there and we did eventually lose that that lose we uh one of the rings life rings up there kind of kind of fell off um but it was it was pretty bouncy as you can see i'm trying to 
trying to hold it steady as uh, as we're going through all of this, and it's it's just hard. But we uh, we were able to beat the storm, and that storm was a wicked storm that was uh, that was behind us. So I'm I'm really glad we we're able to do that. Right now we're at full plane at 3,200 RPMs, um, and as you can see here on the map that we're just you know we're just booking along the coast. And uh, right here is when we decide to, um, you know, um, go back into the channel, uh, basically, because it was it was getting too rough out there. So we're passing some bridge. I'm not really sure which uh, which bridge this uh, this point, but um, but basically between Clearwater and, and Sarasota somewhere. Um, but the but the next video, um, the next clip, basically, will. Will basically be in in, in Sarasota area, um, but uh, but we had to stop uh, the engines a few times because we basically ran over crab traps and and put it in neutral so the uh, propellers weren't get, get caught up in them. This whole trip was basically dodging crab traps uh, through the intercoastal and, and out in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay. See that big ass boat right there? <laughs> he is burning up some fuel. That looks like a very expensive boat. The ride. The ride, yeah. Very expensive oh, oh, oh. ride. So, he actually is going to pass us. Uh, we, we do have to stay, yeah, left. Left, left of the, uh, that sign. Stay left of that sign. Ah, you go between these two. There's two over here. Way pat. There's this. You don't go on that side. No, you don't go on that side. There. You just stay okay. right. So he wasn't in the channel. Yeah, just right to the left of that green sign. There, I got you. Okay. He's passing you on the uh, right side, so just just keep keep straight. Oh my God. Yeah. trying to figure out what he wants to do. So we just passed Sarasota. Well, we're in Sarasota, basically. Um, trying to uh, get to... get some gas. So we're going to pull in there. Hopefully uh, we can get in there without hitting anything and then be on our way. So zooming out in Sarasota and we'll go to Venice. Oh, we're actually not too far away from Fort Myers, the inlet. So we're right here. We just want to get over here and then going through. Oh, this is going to be awesome. We can probably make it to Lake Okeechobee. Sarasota. In this clip, we're coming up on our uh, uh, past, you know, um, Sarasota, I, I believe, our first drawbridge. And at first, we, uh, you know, we, you have to look at the the height of your, your boat, and it, I'll have markers on the right and the left. Um, on, on the height of the actual uh, center of, of the bridge. So we, uh, I, I do believe we was like 20 feet, 25 feet, and my boat's uh, about 15 feet. So we definitely were able to make it under the bridge with, without a problem. Um, but uh, that this, this is one of the first of, of many bridges that either A, we would have to call the operator on Channel 9 to have them open it, or you know, pass right under it. But um, and 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 they're only open from early in the morning till 10 10 p.m. So if you want to make this trip, uh, do realize if you're going to boat at night that 10 p.m. is where when bridges won't open for you anymore. So if you don't have the clearance, then you definitely have to find a place to anchor out or marina out at. But um, but uh, but we end, we're cruising at eight knots at this point, and uh, we'll be cruising at seven to ten knots the rest of the trip.
Right here, we're actually coming up on our first bridge that we have to open, and and I, I think this is, this bridge was actually before the previous bridge um, that that we could go under, um, and it, it's basically I think I think this one was about ten feet or so. So you, you have to call them on channel nine, and and how you do it is you just say the name of the bridge three times. And then you say your name of your vessel, and you ask him what the uh, opening schedule is. Oh, and you say you're, if you're southbound, and we were southbound um, at this point. And uh, it's pretty cool to actually see it open up because usually we're on the other side of this where we're waiting for the um, the thing the, the the bridges to come down. But uh, it's pretty cool to actually go under one um, that they actually have to open up. So, our first meal on the boat, Matt, we got hot dogs going on and the group, moving. and we're moving. We're cooking and moving at the exact same time. So we have the magma, magma grill, I think we, uh, what, it's 3.30 or something today, right now, we're around, roughly. Yeah. 401, 4 o'clock, so it's dark in two hours, We're making great time, but now uh, we changed our plan a little bit, so <laughs> the first part of the video that um, I'm going to edit, we were bouncing like crazy, a huge storm was south, St. Petersburg, and we had to beat the storm, everything in the cabin is all over the place because... We're being bounced around like crazy people. And I got a lot of water in the bilge area down here. And with these carvers, all the water was splashing up onto this back deck when we're um, out at, in open Gulf of Mexico beating the storm, pouring a bunch of water in there. So now we're just going to do Eight knots the entire trip. Other than the no wake zone. Other than the no wake zone, we're going to be doing eight knots, which means we can do 16 hours a day. Basically, what we're trying to do on day one right here is get past Fort Myers into the river and as closest to that first lock as possible before we uh, bunker down for the night. So currently, we've passed Venice, which is behind us and now we're coming up on going under bridges actually so Minnesota Beach Road which is cool you know they don't have to open it up for us because uh, every bridge now is 25 feet up until going to Lake Okeechobee so if anybody wants to do uh, the route from let's say Tarpon Springs way back there to St. Augustine, I recommend stay in the intercoastal. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you do not want to deal with the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. Trust me, guys. Trust me. We uh, we had a hell of a time today. But more to come. Awesome. Now we just got into Fort Myers Bay, and as you can see here, it, it's uh, almost sunset, and it's a it's a beautiful sunset every time on the water. It's just it's just pretty amazing. But um, but uh, we're definitely booking it right now, and even though the sun's setting, we still have a good six six hours of boating to do because we decided to 
to boat at night. And um, I only decided to do that because we have uh, the two iPads with the Navionics, we have the Garmin, we have um, our depth finder, and it, it wasn't going to be a storm uh, in Fort Myers because we beat that uh, previously. So uh, we we decided at this point, we'll just keep on trucking down, down Fort Myers, and uh, the next clip, it's going to be pretty dark. You guys can't see it, but it's dark. That's uh, Fort Myers. Coral Springs, Fort Myers, I would say. Driving at night with uh, good old navigation. No choice. Running good, running good and clean. The end of day one, folks. We are anchored out in Fort Myers, at the edge of Fort Myers, uh, to where the the lock system to Lake Okeechobee. So, and what we're doing is it's, it's I think it's almost one o'clock almost in the morning. We did 17 hours today, and. We got some steaks going. Hell yeah. Um, so for everybody to see exactly where we're at, there we are. The lock is right over here. And we're right there at the end of day one. So we're doing great. But uh, I'm gonna focus on cooking this and, and drinking some Coors Light and hanging out with Matt. You can barely see him. But, uh, but we'll see you guys in the morning on day two. Cool.